Thanks for stopping by guys and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Now today we're going to be looking at another tank design. Now this isn't meant to be an improvement over old designs or a continuation of the tank line, but rather it's built to address an issue that some people have been having. There have been a number of people saying that the new cannons aren't able to fire or they're having some bad frame rate issues which are not allowing the cannons to fire. The new cannons that we've been using a lot of the times have an issue where if the frame rate gets too low, they're unable to shoot. So to try and address this, I made a really simplified version of the modern tank, and it is the MBT Mark 30. Yes, I know this is not technically a tank because it is built to be an armored car, but I built an armored car for the sake of reducing the amount of springs and bearings in the drive system. Just to give you an idea, this is the Surge. The Surge has 10 springs, 3 pistons, and 26 bearings. This, on the other hand, has 6 springs, 4 pistons, and 15 bearings. So there's 10 less bearings, 4 less springs, with only one more piston. Part of what I did, the big one is getting rid of the tracks. The tracks have a lot of springs and a lot of bearings in them because each wheel needs two bearings. I also dumbed down the stabilizer just a little bit. It's still fully functional, but I combined the horizontal and vertical drives into a single mechanism so they only need one spring. And I also modified the stabilizer itself where it works with one spring and one piston instead of two springs because springs have a tendency to lag quite a bit. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of the surge here, just for demonstration purposes. And let's take a look at this. This still has the four-shot autoloader like all of my modern cannons do. And let's drive it around. It is an armored car, like I said, so it drives like a car, not like a tank. But it is still really nippy and nimble. You can't turn on the spot, which is the only issue. But you will notice that it does have the fully stabilized turret. Hopefully this will fix some of the issues people have been having with the Wyvern and the Surge. Simply because those are really complex tanks. Especially the Surge, I myself do have some issues running it from time to time. Um, it's also why I really haven't used the Surge in battles. But the Wyvern was originally intended to be simple. But it still is pushing the limits on what I can do. And I can most definitely see how a lot of people are having issues running it and having frame rate issues, issues with the mechanisms inside because of its complexity. So this is my attempt to justify that and fix it so that more people can use more of the modern equipment like the stabilizers and the auto loaders. Now this is by no means a perfect craft, but is an attempt to fix an issue. Um, if you have had issues with running the Wyvern or the Surge, I'd like you to try this and let me know how it works for you if this fixed the issue because right now I'm actually going about 50 frames better than what something like the Wyvern or Surge would give me. Um, but unfortunately I can't really test how this is going to work on your guys' systems because my computer is relatively beefy. Uh, I can run significantly more complex vehicles. So I need your guys' feedback. Does this tank work on your systems now? Are you able to use these stabilizers and auto cannons? Or if you guys still have issues running these, I can hopefully dumb this down even more or try and simplify it to a point that you guys can start using them. Um, because I build these tanks for people to use in battle. That's the whole point. And it's kind of sucks that some people aren't able to use them. So this isn't really like a big update or anything, just something I wanted to try to try and make it easier for more people to use. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. If you had any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoy the challenge or what I'm doing, please subscribe. It helps out a lot. And right now, shares help the channel most. So if you do want to help the channel, please share this episode with a friend. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sticking around. And until next time, peace.